Welcome back to the Cambridge United Road to Glory. Thank you very much for all of your support on the first episode that went out most recently. Really appreciate that. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to quite a lot of Football Manager content this upcoming 12-month period. I'm going to try my best to keep going with the five times a week FC24 My Player and then subsequent career mode after that content. The Football Manager 24 content alongside the F123 content as well. It's a big commitment, but this second channel has been so very well supported recently that you guys deserve all of the content and I will keep it coming to you. Do come across and join me live on Twitch. Link in the description down below so you can come across and watch all of the content recorded live, whether it's everything that goes on this channel or everything goes on the main channel with the old Chelsea career mode and subsequent career modes after that as well. A little plug if you want to pick up FM early for this early access there is a link in the description to my referral link for fanatical with the code all ex all exclamation marks all <laughs> capitals chairs fm 24 and you can get yourself a 22 percent discount over on fanatical pick up the game now and start playing now rather than having to wait until uh, november the 6th so a quick recap last time we out we worked our way through pre-season and we started the season very well indeed actually We've Leighton Orient away in a week's time, so everybody should be fully rested. But that says to me that everyone's going to be a little bit rusty and we'll probably end up losing to Leighton Orient. But a favourable draw in the Carabao Cup second round against Crewe, which hopefully we can win. And in the Papa John's, we've got Fulham's under-21s as well as Gillingham, who are beatable, and Wickham, who are probably not. We have them coming up soon as well, as well as Reading at home. So some more difficult fixes on the way with Reading, Wickham, Wigan... And Port and uh, Derby. Port Vale started well in real life, but in this save, are they any good? They're all right. They're mid table. We're doing better than we imagined we would do, but we will try and keep that going. Adam May should be back from injury very soon. Jordan Cousins not too far behind him. Brandon Hornstrop still a couple of months away. Rotating the squad as best we can, but as you can quite clearly see, there are a number of favourites at the moment. But those favourites are doing the job, so they kind of deserve to continue playing. We're going to crack on. You're going to drop the video a like, and you'll subscribe to this channel, and come and follow me on Twitch, and we'll carry on. Puyol. Puyol! Carlos Puyol wants to be my scout. But he's got five judging player ability and four judging player potential. He's also a rubbish scout. He's also a rubbish manager and a rubbish physio. I'm sorry, Carlos Puyol, but... You are not the one, my friend. Um, we will continue that advert. But at the moment, either Richard Eiley or Ronnie Kusick are the front runners. As if Carlos Puyol wants to be... Oh, wow. Late Orient away, then. We're sick. They're tenth. He wants me to throw Fajiri in for gas. Which I'm not necessarily going to do. We've made one change to the team. That being that JK is in for Soleil Kaikai, who's been... A bit average of late, a bit average, so we'll give another man the opportunity to have a go. And JK could be pretty decent for us. Adam May still on his way back, he's not there yet. Uh, not recommended to be selected, so we won't throw him into the, into the bench yet. But he's definitely on his way. And can we be on our way to some more points? Dan Happ is good at centre-back. Joe Piggott is very good at striker for this level. Idris al is even better at this level, to be completely honest. This could be tough, this. I so say go out and enjoy yourselves today. I'm starting to get a bit of a response from them now. We had a solid start to the season, and I'm starting to get a little bit of respect from the team. Hopefully, we can turn that respect into on-field performances. Thankfully, we have our fullback set to defensive, but one of them is going to be out of position here. And Joe Piggott, well then, scores a very good goal. Later, Lorien leads in the 10th minute in front of their home fans. And ours in that away stand are devastated. Kachunga's played in. He's got support with George Thomas there inside. If he can get it to him, he's driven to the byline. Digby and Hinchy. And that is 1-1. Jack Hinchy on loan from Brighton. And Hove Albion has his first goal of the season. Very well taken. Gas. JK. Gordon in the starting lineup. And gets an assist. And Gassan gets the goal. Well, maybe we won't take Gassan. I had my off for Fajiri then. We lead away from home at Brisbane Road. It's 2-1 Cambridge now. Piggott, Archibald, ah, he's at the back post and he's free. And Jordan Gray and immediately equalises for Leighton Orient. We've switched off at the back there and that's not gone 
very well at all. About two minutes, I think, perhaps. Practically from kickoff, they earned the throw, and then they've worked it brilliantly. Liam Bennett switches off at the back post, and Graham with the header. Jordan Graham's former Wolves. Yeah, former Wolves. Oh, it's just diabolical marking at the back. And from 1-0 down to 2-1 up to 3-2 down. This has been quite a topsy-turvy game of football, hasn't it? Welcome back to the Football Manager content. Let's make a change. With four minutes added on, it does look like we are about to lose our first game of the league season. And indeed, <laughs> we do lose the first game of our league season. But overall, we weren't bad. So I can't be... I can't be too... too displeased. I'll say I'm lucky. Keep morale up. Lift the pressure. And then hopefully we can bounce back in the next one. Orient riding high after their promotion last season looking to maybe go again. How many subs can I name for this? In the Carabao Cup it's only five isn't it? Or is that the EFL trophy? No it's nine actually for the Carabao Cup isn't it? Yeah. Lovely stuff. Alright team selected. Rotated quite a bit, but the cup is the opportunity to give some fringe players some first team football And that's what we'll do continually in the Papa John's as well Former Cambridge man Shiloh Tracy released at the end of last season in their starting lineup Crew in League 2 this year Don't know how well they're doing in, Le in uh, League 2 this year, but I'll say no pressure today go and play with freedom We have allowed them to be a bit more positive in their outset, so They are going to play with a little bit more freedom that is going to match with the tactics that we're going with Let's see what happens against crew. Not that busy a stand. The attendance is certainly not very high. Lovely ball through to George Thomas, and that's 1-0 Cambridge. That's a brilliant assist, actually. We'll take that. We lead by a goal to nil in the 11th minute. If we can respond, even though the majority of the players didn't play as a, as a, a unit, a collective, we can respond, then that would be great. Fajiri involved. In fact, it's Fajiri's good vision that set out the assist. Kachunga. George Thomas, is he going to go for two? He will. He'll have it as well. George Thomas with his third goal of the season, his second goal in five minutes. And we're 2 0 up against Crew. All smiles again. Go on, bro. Use that pace, lad. Stands it up. Kachunda! It's three. Well, this is resounding. Might make some subs throughout the half for uh, some of the first team players to come off get a bit more uh, time oh my god it's it's rebounded back off the post back to George Thomas and he has a hat trick in the 50th minute George Thomas hat trick with 4 nil up against crew couldn't really have asked for more there could I <laughs> I could quite happily sit Ooh, five was he onside he was for Jiri in the goals five nil against crew well at least we we can say that if we get relegated, we can probably come straight back up, judging on this, if the side in fourth in League One, sorry, in League Two, is uh, able to be beaten by five goals to nil. Not sure how strong a side they're playing compared to their regular. Obviously, we're rotated as well, though, to be fair, so. This is going really well. It could even get even better. Brofs, maybe, for six? Brophy for six. Wow. James Brophy on the score sheet. We're scoring at a rate of one goal every ten and a half minutes. I'll probably be doing a lot more driving. I'll probably play a lot of Forza as well, to be fair. Especially with a rig. Forza with a rig, I bet, is, is really good fun. Ah. Well, that kind of... Well, not spoils it, but taints it a little. It might have been nice to keep a clean sheet. Bit of a mess back there from the set piece. Dunk just loses out to O'Riordan, and then Digby loses, or Digby and the keeper lose out to whoever it was that scored that goal. Nathan, I want to say Nathan James. It was N James. My brain went Nathan, but I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Digby, Kai Kai, Hinchy. There's space for Brophy, and he's made a good run too. Groves is in. Oh my god, it's seven. It's seven. When I loaded up Football Manager today, I didn't envisage getting a 7 1 win. And we're still only in the 67th minute. We're now scoring on average more than every 10 minutes. Every nine. Crew, what on earth are you doing? It turns out, after the 68th minute, we decided enough was enough. So, just the seven goals. 
Nice work, everyone. Yeah, it seems like a rather tame. Just good job, lads. Well done. 7 1 win. Thank you for the five bits, Danny. Some say we were cruising to victory. We were indeed. Right. Carabao Cup, third round. Ourselves, Exeter, and Lincoln are the only League One sides still in. Then there's Mansfield and MK Dons from League Two. And then Wigan from League One. So Mansfield, please. Mansfield or MK Dons? Preferably Mansfield. MK Dons might actually be half decent. Other than that, uh, something that might earn us some money, please. That would be even better, actually. Something that might earn us some money would be lovely. Blackburn away. Blackburn, big team. West Ham. Wow. Cambridge, we are at home too. Exeter. I mean, it, it's a winnable tie is the, the least we could say. It's a winnable tie. Mad that all of the league, other than Lincoln, all of the League 1 and 2 sides came out at the right, very end of the draw. Exeter at home is definitely a winnable tie. And then surely, if we can get through against Exeter, then we get the big money spinner, right? Surely. Job security is secure. The board are very happy. We're C plus with vision and culture, B minus on the matches and the transfers and the tactics. It's going very well indeed. How about the, how about the fans? How do the fans feel about me? The fans are B plus. Ta very much. Couldn't have asked for a better start. Oh, there you go. The <laughs> monthly supporters review just above the email you look just looking at. Says, well done. You're really, really observant, aren't you, mate? Transfer deadline day has five hours to go, but we're not planning on doing anything. This is where it becomes more difficult to keep everybody happy. David Button, Andy Yadom, Tom Holmes. They're just really good. Thankfully, Sam Smith and Harvey Nibs on the bench today. They're going Femi Aziz, Don Ballard up top. I'm not sure what formation they're playing, to be fair. Um, go out there and enjoy yourselves today, lads. No pressure at home against a side as good as Reading. But we'll head straight to kickoff and hopefully avoid defeat. Although there's a highlight inside 60 seconds, which makes me scared. All right. I don't mind a patient build-up. JK, many in the middle. George Thomas. Oh! Hat-trick in his last game. Skies it from 10 yards. Well held, Will. Here's your Dom. That's a lovely ball to Dom. It's a great touch. And an equally impressive finish. Reading 1, Cambridge nil in the 19th minute. As it said, a lovely Reading move, and we're behind, but that was a very good move, to be fair, wasn't it? Nice. Kachunga, not so nice. Never mind, he's still got it. Don't forget the ball, Elias. It's going to fall to George. Thomas, that's better finishing. Devastating finishing. Only got eight out of 20 as a finishing stat, George Thomas, but there was nothing wrong with that. A hat-trick in his last game, blazed over earlier. He was just finding his range. That is 1-1. One, one. And that shows the sign of a confident player right now. Bosh. Danny Andrew. It's going to fall to JK. And Kachunga. It's Elias Kachunga. We've turned it around. It's 2-1 Cambridge at home against Reading. See it through, gents. Instructions. We're going to waste a lot of time now. They're getting frustrated picking up yellow cards and they're losing their discipline a little bit. And we might... We're about to see this through. There's eight minutes added on, though. Although those eight minutes are disappearing very rapidly. And it's three points for the U's once more here at home. Absolutely, we love that. One nil down, but a response within three minutes. And six minutes later, we were in front and we never relinquished it. Well done, gentlemen. Beat Reading in real life. Beat Reading in virtual life. Thrilled. Fourth in the league after six games. There's still 40 to go, though, so let's not get carried away. Another achievement. Full faith. The board evaluated your performance as superb. Hey! The people's champion. You gain high A plus from the fans. We love a Cambridge save. We love a Cambridge save. Yeah, that's what the beeps are. Sorry, yeah, Steam achievements. The dressing room doesn't agree with today's team sheet. Well, I think they're just going to have to get over it, really, to be honest. Uh, anyone in there that we are aware of? I don't know if there's any names in there that I personally recognise. There was a guy at 
from Fulham's youth team that we had last year at Notts County, Luke something, I can't remember who it was, Luke Harris, there you go, he's right there, Luke Harris, he was sensational for us at Notts County. Uh, stick to the plan, stay patient, we'll be fine. I'm not sure we will, but we'll give it a go. I don't know how good Fulham's under-21s might be. Might be one of the slightly more favourable... I like these little cutscenes. I've been skipping them, but I like them. Slightly more favourable under-21 side that we might well have been coming up against. Oh, good! Pulled knee, ligament, pulled knee ligaments immediately for Jack Lancaster after seven minutes. Well, there goes Elias Kachunga's rest. Fulham are yet to have a shot, but the first highlight is them on the attack. And not only that, it's them scoring a goal. Aaron Lupalobi. Lupalobi? Great! Alright, sweet. 1-0 Fulham with their first shot of the game. Superb. Now we're on the attack. Elias is up. Nope. It's going to fall to Digger. Elias on the floor. Adam May? Adam May! Wow! He only scores thumpers in real life, and that apparently carries over to Football Manager as well. He came from Pompey, he's the best you've ever seen. We think he's magic, our number 19. We love him more each and every single day. His name is Adam, his name is Adam, mate. Do it again, please, Ads. Wow. That's an a reintroduction to the first team, isn't it? Quite some. Liam Bennett down the wing. How's your crossing, Liam? In real life, actually pretty bloody good. Sole Kai Kai gets his second goal of the season. Oh, we love a turnaround at Cambridge United this year. We lead at the Abbey Stadium. 2-1. Fajiri makes it three. 51st minute. Get in. Sole Kai Kai driving through the middle, which is not somewhere we've utilised him yet. Into JK on the left. Squares it and a simple finish. Good. So if any of you would like to pick up the game right now for PC and uh, pick it up at a discount, you can do so via my sponsor or partner, Fanatical. Hashtag ad. There's a link in chat that will take you to the Football Manager page on the Fanatical website. Do make sure that you... Uh, Select the correct one, because there are two versions, I believe. One with and one without early access. Get the early access one. You'll save about a tenner, I think it is, for 22%. I'll make a couple of quid, and you you get a cheap game. So everyone's a winner. I appreciate it. There have been a number of you already that have picked up uh, Football Manager this year via my affiliate link, and I appreciate it very much indeed. Ta very much, lads. Here's to you. 3-1 Cambridge United. Adam May... Back in the starting lineup for the first time, scores a thunderbolt and puts in a man of the match performance, or at least close to as well. Gillingham beat Wickham too, which is a surprise, I have to be honest. What was the scoreline there? Scrolling, um, scrolling. 4 1 at Wickham! Nobody saw that coming. Jack is out for three weeks with pulled knee ligaments, unfortunately, but we can. We can cope with that. We are getting some prize money for the Papa John's Trophy. We haven't been getting any. You don't get any for the Carabao Cup unless you get to the semi-final. Guess who's not going to make it to the semi-final? Glenn McConnell putting in a great performance for Swindon. Trying to prove to his manager that he deserves a go in the league for Swindon so far this season. Given the nod in the EFL Trophy and bags a goal. Unfortunately for Seiko Jana, not able to do the same at Crawley. Lewis Simper gets 77 minutes in a 3-3 draw against Everton's under-21s. And, well, J.K. Gordon has been superb once more. And the next game is away at Wickham, who just lost to Gillingham. But you imagine, as was the case with us, they were playing a bit of a rotated side. Because, rather evidently, being where they are in the league, they are prioritising league football and promotion back to the championship over everything else. And we'll probably find out exactly why in four days' time. And Elias Kachunga has done well in every role, to be fair, whether it's Glandoita or winger. So Wickham away. Traditionally a very, very typical fixture for Cambridge United. We very, very rarely get anything from Wickham Wanderers. This is the new engine 
Ford, I've not made any changes. This is this is the vanilla game. Match engine and lighting, etc. All, all significantly adjusted for this year. Even though, obviously, they're getting an entirely new engine next year on Unity. They've still made significant improvements to the match engine this year. And the, the graphical fidelity of it. Lovely through ball. Square it. No need to, John. No need to whatsoever. Cambridge 1, Wickham nil. He's only on loan till January. Please let me extend that to the end of the season. We are in front away from home at Adams Park. Lovely ball with Potts and Hanlon. Brandon Hanlon, Grimm and McCleary. It's a, it's a good goal. It's really well worked. And Wickham have an equaliser. Gareth McCleary has five goals this year. Now a milestone for him. And they are level in the game. Oh, that's not a great clearance. That's, very, that's a very lucky clearance. Look left, look left, look left. Saleh Kaiko. George Thomas is there. Oh, Saleh, you greedy... Expletive... George would have finished that if he slotted him in. The form he's been in. All given away by Wickham in the build-up. All given away by Cambridge United in the build-up. And Debar in the box. Brilliant! I'm sorry, you've given a penalty for that, have you? That was one of the cleanest challenges I've ever seen! Wickham 2, Cambridge 1... Joe Jacobson with his fourth of the season. Controversial. Leon Bailey. Good finish. Beats his man beautifully and then top ends. Oh, never mind. Forget Aston Villa scoring a goal. Oh, never mind. Forget Cambridge United scoring a goal. He was offside. Oh, why do it to me? Jacobson with a free kick. Brophy's up. McCarthy's there. Oh, it's on the top of the bar and it's wide. Oh, ah. Oh. Second defeat of the league season away from home. I say don't worry about it. Again, we'll try and keep morale up. Fajiri wasn't firing there, but Gas certainly tried to have an impact when he came off the bench. We're still in the playoffs, and the most important gap to me is the 1-21st, to which at the moment is six points, albeit they have a game in hand down there. But that is the only gap I care about this season. Two to five weeks for John Kamani. That is not, not wonderful. Right, Fajiri, I need you to be slightly better, please, my friend. Fully accepting that that midfield partnership is untested and not unfit, but not super fit either, but still. Sam Tickling, goal for them. We've got Steven Sessegnon. We've got Omar Rekic. Josh McGuinness up top and captain for them. It's going to be a difficult game. Uh, ignore the recent praise in the media and just play with no pressure. It's continually what my message is going to be. No pressure this season. As long as we're not anywhere near the relegation zone, there is no pressure on this side whatsoever. The pressure is on me to somehow ensure we have a team next season that are good enough to stay up because there are so many players that are out of contract in the summer that at the moment I cannot afford to agree renewals for. Wigan would be third in the league if it weren't for their points deduction so far this season. So absolutely... This is going to be a very difficult game. Because the squad last year were good enough to not be involved in a relegation battle. Shaw might be off here. He is. Wigan down to 10 men in the 26th minute. Well, that makes things slightly different to prospect for a fixture like this then. And if we can go 1-0 up immediately, oh, it would have punished them twofold. But unfortunately, the defender's in the way. They've... Taken off a cam and brought on Smith. I'm not sure where Smith plays. But at the moment, Wigan down to 10 men. Still probably might well dominate possession. Because they've got the quality in the squad to do that. But hopefully, that means we can get at least a point out of this. So we say thank you to Alexi for the 34th month subscribed. And the 21st in a row as well. Okunabiri. Elias Kachunga! Fourth goal of the season. We lead against the 10 men. Telling me about Liam Shaw's red card again. Don't worry, that's a bug for this version of the game on early access. It will be fixed for full launch, I'm sure. Up the yellers. Get in. 1-0 away from home against Wigan. Not seen that before. And this is 
exactly what we need to do. Ping the ball about, have them sprinting here, there and everywhere, getting knackered. And then scoring the occasional goal might be pretty good as well. So Kai Kai makes it 2-0 Cambridge. We are going to get a second goal. And hopefully that means now, surely, all three points away from home at the, I want to say, DW. Always used to be the DW. Might still be the DW at Wigan. I'm not sure. Actually, as we headed towards the half hour mark where they got the red card, I think Wigan were on top, certainly. But we end up with a result as they got the man sent off. And that is a tremendous win for us. Still, continually, not going to get carried away with ourselves. The aim this season is league survival. And will continue to be the case. Finally... They're starting to play Glenn McConnell at Swindon. He got a goal in the EFL Trophy. He earned himself a start. He unfortunately didn't follow through with that start. But there's still plenty of time left in the season for him to impress. Saleh Kai Kai was very good in that last game. Thank you very much, Saleh, for the extra goal. Made things a lot more straightforward for us. Very pleased with the triumph. Yeah, we didn't we didn't risk Adam May with back-to-back -back games in a few days. And we won't do we won't do the same with Cousins. We'll throw him to the bench. It's fine. Quite happy with Digger alongside Adam May as well. But we'll keep the rest of the 11 the same. Ah, oh, piss. Are my best players getting injured for a considerable period of time? Uh, Bennett's not having a great game. Look at Jubs on out wide. Nah. A lot of the team aren't playing that well, actually. Danny Andrew with the corner. And it's... Well, I don't know how that's ended up in the back of the net. But... It's not great from Port Vale, that's what we can say. But there's the old Liam, 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 Bennett, Ryan, 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 Bennett, Liam, Liam, Liam. Oh, go on, ads. Oh, lovely ball. Josh Thomas 2-0. That'll be game. Picked apart from the set-piece routine. Be another three points for the use, you'd like to think, from here. Ah, that's not spectacular, Jobs, is it? Lovely ball through to James Wilson. We might be about to concede one on the counter-attack. Indeed, we are. Right. Uh, time to waste some time. And let's see this through, please. Let's not throw a two-goal lead away in the final seven minutes. That's really poor from Dribbril. I think my prayers are going to be answered. Indeed, they are. We are going to get a win by two goals to one at home against Port Vale. Not at our best. Well, to be fair, we were pretty good. We were nearly at our best. If it had been 2-0, I'd have said we were at our best. Elias Kachunga is out for... Ah, man! Th three to four weeks. Well, to be fair, we dealt with it. Glenn McConnell got another 90, which is good. He's starting to work his way into the Swindon starting lineup. Good lad, Glenn. Keep it up, pal. Really starting to grow well, too. You love to see it. Another couple of years out on loan, and Glenn McConnell may well force his way into the starting lineup. Another 90 minutes for Lewis Simper. And we are fourth in the table at this stage. We've got to a quick press conference whilst we say uh, we're really, really pleased with everything going so far. Or how everything's going so far, should I say. Uh, Exeter in three days' time in the Cup means we will clear everyone. We will give everybody a two-day rest. And we will be very, very, very happy with how this season is going so far. That is going to be all for this episode over on YouTube. Do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed to this Chesnoy Play channel so you don't miss out on more. Formula 1 content on the way to you as well. FC24 My Player content on the way to you as well consistently throughout the week. So plenty for you to watch. Chelsea save on the main channel too. So do check all of the links in the description. I very much appreciate it. Thank you for your continued support. And come and join me on Twitch as well. We are very close to 90,000 followers. It'd be great if you could come and follow me over there and help me reach that milestone. That's all for me for today. Well, actually, it's probably not all for me for today. It's all for me for this morning because later this afternoon, you'll have an FC24 video. I'll see you then.